Taser, taser, taser. He's down. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Get out of that car. What are you doing? Don't do it, lady. Ah. Hey. Ow. 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 Okay, he's taking primary. Uh, dispatch for East on 68. East on 68. No, good pit. Good attempt to pit there. This might be it. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back for another episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR, and I really hope you guys enjoyed episode 100. Here's to 100 more. Uh, today we're headed out with the uh, the Vinewood Police Department with this awesome new pack that came out. Um, I did modify this one slightly to have all blue lighting instead of the red and blues the cars would normally come with, and I think they look outstanding. This Code 3 light bar is probably my favorite light bar in the way it looks. Um, you guys uh, might have seen it if you've seen the preview videos on Instagram or Facebook. And if not, well, you'll see it during the video. But we're going to get out there and do what we always do. We'll take some calls. We'll do some traffic. And we're going to police these streets. So let's get started. We have a high-ranking game member in transit on Fenwell Place. All right, here we go. I can get you in transit. Respond code two. All right. We're going to go ahead and use the light sirens to get out there quickly. Change the siren. It's a, uh, I believe it's a, uh, well in Syncom, uh, gold at this point. Um, I really liked the siren we were using before, but I switched it out for the 80s siren. We're looking for a yellow Sultan. There it is right there, actually. I'm going to pull over right here. I'm going to let him go past. Is he running? Yeah, he's running. Running fast. To Lincoln 21, I've got one refusing to stop. Assistance required on Vinewood Park Drive. Put my pursuit back up down on the highway. That's not very really useful. Echo 10. Pulling up right behind you. Right, let's see if we can get close enough to get a plate. To Lincoln 21, requesting plate check. Looks like we did get it. It's a Salt uh, 79 Charles Charles Boy 840. David uh, Gordon. No flags in the car. All right. Dispatch, we're uh, headed into the county if you want to let uh, Los Santos County know, dispatch. Roger that. 10, Lincoln, 21. Backup required. What's he doing? Oh, okay. 10, Lincoln, 21. We're on the dirt road. Head up towards the dam, dispatch. We're on the dirt road. Head up towards the dam, dispatch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's done. It's over. The suspect has crashed. Oh, hell yeah, he's crashed. Get your get gun out. Come on, get your gun out. Don't. Pursuing Stop, dude. Don't one. even do it. Don't even do it. Don't even do it. Just go to your knees. Just go to your knees. Don't even make me run, man. 10 Lincoln 21, show one in custody. You're under arrest. I don't know why you tried to run up here, man. Why would you do that? We are code four. Suspect in custody. No further units required. You can't, you can't roll up these roads that fast, dude. You're lucky you didn't get a little further down this road and go flying into the river, dipshit. All right. At least we have no traffic to worry about up here. Man, look at that light bar. Is that just not the coolest thing with the with the white light under it and the blue lights alternating like that? God, that looks cool. And there's so many different flash patterns on these vehicles. They look great. Absolutely love this pack. And these vehicles, so and these, 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 uh, they're based on somewhere in New York. I don't remember where. Uh, the pack will be in the description, obviously. All right, I'm done. I'm done going on about the car now. Let's let's actually play the game. Um, all right, man. So, why'd you run from me, man? What'd you do that for? Why don't you make like a tree and get the fuck out of here? <laughs> I mean, you tried to, and it didn't work out so well for you. So, all right, man. You don't want to talk to me? That's fine. In case we weren't uh, clear on this, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. And you say cannibal abuse against your court of law. Right to an attorney can't afford attorney. I want to be appointed by the state of San Andreas. You understand? Doesn't really matter. You pigs always violate people's rights. Oh, okay. So you're like that, man. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. No problem, homie. You got anything on you want to tell me about? Do you know who I am? I'll have your job for this. I know that you're affiliated with a gang of some sort. You want to tell me about that? No, you don't? Okay, that's cool. How about in that vehicle? You want to tell me about something in that vehicle? No, I'm a lawyer. Okay. All right. He's lawyering up, and that's fine. No worries there. Turn around, sir. You have the right to lawyer up. All right, she's got a postcard from Los Venturas, a blood sugar test kit, phone number on a napkin, a bottle of hand sanitizer, a pistol magazine containing 12 9x19mm rounds, and a purple bandana. 
This is David uh, Bordiga. Bor Bordiga, yeah. So this is, yeah, that was his car. I just read his name wrong earlier. So he might be affiliated with the Ballers based on that purple bandana. He might not be. Could be a coincidence. In this city, I, I wouldn't bet it is, though. All right, man, so I see you got some ammunition on you. Where's the gun? Yeah, I had one, but I ditched it. Okay, so we ditched the gun. Almost sure we ditched the gun around here somewhere. I don't see it anywhere, but uh, we might be able to charge him for that. Still had it on him during the possession of the, during the uh, commission of this crime. And you wrecked this car. This was a nice car once. All right, a 69 brand Cuban cigar and suspected nail bomb parts. Damn. And a bag of fertilizer in the trunk. Hmm, gee. Nail bomb parts and a bag of fertilizer you can use to make explosives. I'm thinking uh, possession of destructive devices and criminal... Well, maybe not destructive device since it's not put together, but definitely criminal tools. Felony criminal tools, too. I'm trying to make bombs, man. You trying to make bombs? Is that is that what you're trying to do? Shit. All right. Let's put him in our car. Come on, man. He's lucky he ditched that gun. He probably threw it while we were driving, quite honestly, and I probably didn't see it. Bad on me. It's not good police work there. Officer Devin. Alright, let's see if he's got a record of any sort. Uh, he's valid. No warrants. No record. How old is he? 25? He's either recently affiliated or he's been lucky. I don't know which, but uh, we'll see. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna we'll get this car towed out of here. We'll get him charged and we'll get back on the road see what else is going on up in Vinewood today. Dispatch calling unit 10, Lincoln 21. We have a code 99 on North Conquer Avenue. Yeah, we're going to get up there and see what's going Copy on. that. We're moving right now. 10-4. Actually, we'll go ahead and just leave our lights on. Traffic stop back up, definitely important. Traffic stops are the most dangerous thing a police officer can do. You never know what you're going to get. You might get Grandma, who's the sweetest lady in the world, and will bake you cookies. You might get a guy who's moving a shit ton of dope and knows if he gets caught he's going to prison for life and doesn't care who he has to take with him. So, alright. So we're on scene here. 10 Lincoln 21, show me on scene. 10 uh, I really shouldn't be a, a Blaine County unit, but that's okay. This stop, this must just pull from either the sheriff or county vehicles, depending on where it is. That's okay, though. Alright. Whoa! Sorry, bud. My fault, really. Yeah, it's... Oh, he's taking off. I'm gonna run into my push bar there. Fuck it, don't back into my car, dude, Jesus. Well, Jesus, deputy. Go, dude, if you're gonna go, then go. Jesus, taking everybody out. I think he's more dangerous than the, the fleeing person is. Damn it, now I hit someone, too. This guy's gonna get away, because I couldn't get caught up with him. Lincoln 21, I've got one refusing to stop. Yeah, it didn't hear me. Oh. Assistance there we go, yeah. Tree Trying to get caught up to this guy here. Uh, oh, we're gonna lose it. Nope. Right, we didn't. Uh, ah, what are you doing? Technically, we're out of it now, dude. That was a T-bone at like 70 miles an hour. We're, we're out now. Jesus, none of these cops can drive today. I can't believe that cop turned in front of me like that, though. We're going to get up to this guy. This guy's not getting away. We're catching up now. I think I see him. I see him. I see him. We're on, uh, what are we on now? Sonora? 10 Lincoln 21, I have sight of the vehicle dispatch for south on Sonora. Roger that. Yeah, you thought you was going to get away, didn't you? And really, you should have, because dipshit. I agree. Really, you should have, because I, te I technically shouldn't still be driving, but thank you, GTA physics. Whoa, I thought he's going to hit that tractor. 10 Lincoln 21, requesting spike strips. Assistance required. Target vehicle license. All right, lay him down, Dem. Come on. King, King, Union, two, six, zero. Pull him in, pull him in, pull him in. 
Yeah, you didn't pull them in, but they don't actually hurt me, so. How are those not effective? He drove right over them. 10 Lincoln 21 requesting roadblock. Let's try that. Target vehicle license plate zero one King King Union two. All right, good block, good block. He just rammed another vehicle. Nah, he's continuing on. We're continuing. Uh, we're we're still on Sonora, headed back into Vinewood. That's okay, man. Just keep racking the charges up. It's all good. All right, we're still south on Sonora. All right, never mind, I lied. We're north on Sonora now. It's, a, it's Elgin now, but uh, all right, no, we're crossing the bridge into the county. Maybe, nope, U-turn back into the city. Nope, south on Elgin, south on Elgin. We're south on Elgin. Give me some more, some more units out here, dispatch. He's losing it. Suspect. He's lost it. Roll over crash. Roll over crash. Hands up. Hands up now. You come towards me, you get shot. Get out of that car. Get out of that car right now. Get your hands up, ma'am. Put them up. Go to your knees. Go to your knees. All right. Let me try climbing up here. I could probably get, get up there. There you go. This is going to be fucky. <laughs> You like prison food, shithead! I'm afraid to go down there, though. Getting her out of there is gonna be a pain. I'm stuck in the animation right now. Okay. Alright, what I'm gonna have to do here is what I'm gonna do, honestly, is if it'll let me grab her from up here, we will... Attention, this is dispatch. All right, and then code four. No further units required. I can do that. There we go. Alright, it's flipping out, but release, grab. There we go. I got her out of there. We'll pretend like we drug her out of there. All right. Watch her for a second, man. I'm going to do some... Uh... Which one's my car? I think... Which one's my car? <laughs> I think it's... Uh, I think it's this. I think it's the one in the street. No, this is my car right here. What the hell? I got him. You ain't got to shoot him. Give it up, stupid. Give it up. Give it up. Got a couple rounds in him, but that's all right. I don't really care. He is totally he just totally started attacking me for no good reason. What the hell is your problem? He didn't hurt me any. That's assault. That might actually only be misdemeanor assault in this case. No, I think it's F5 assault. Because I didn't take serious, serious bodily harm. That'd be F4 assault, I think. But I think it's F5 assault because I'm a police officer. Otherwise, it'd be, it'd be a misdemeanor. Anyway. Pretty sure the car on the sidewalk's mine. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and dismiss him. Let's see what car he goes to, then we'll know. Yeah, okay. The car on the sidewalk's mine. All right, so are you... What I want you to do... Yeah, that's actually not what I want you to do. Release. Get down. Sit down. His blood all over the ground there. I don't care. He's fine. There we go. 10 Lincoln 21 requesting female officer. Assistance required. And Hallwick. His car. While we wait for her to show up. Let's see what's in here. It's a pair of gloves, ballpoint pen, a pawn and jewelry receipt, and a pair of alligator boots. It's Dominator. Nothing. No, no criminal things in it. Ten Lincoln Twenty One requesting plate check. It's a Dominator Zero One King King Union Two Six Zero. See if it's her car or not. Plate. I don't think one, she's King, gonna be Bob King, Springs. Union Two Six hey. Zero No Ten Ninety Nine. Okay, I don't think she's gonna be Bob Springs. So why'd you run from me, ma'am? I don't know. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Did it? Do, do you still think it seemed like a good idea? You're under arrest, by the way. You have the right to remain silent. You say you can't once you get you to court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You can't afford one. Want to be appointed to by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand your rights? Uh, verification. Yes. No? No. I'm sorry. Comprehension. Do you understand your rights? Of course I do. Good. Of course you do. Great. So, um, is this your car? 
No, it belongs to my dad. Okay. And is your dad aware that you're using it? No, I just borrowed it to run some errands. Oh, okay, cool. Unauthorized use of a vehicle. How long have you had it? Am I free to go? But she said she just borrowed it, so no, you're not you're not free to go, dipshit. Do you have anything on you you want to tell me about? Might have some drugs, I don't sell them. Okay, well, I'm, I'm glad to hear you don't sell drugs. Can you pat her down for me, ma'am? Let's see if she actually has some drugs. Bottle of water, a notebook full of names, a Hawaiian snow receipt, and a small flashlight. Okay, we actually have a question for this. What's up with the notebook full of names? They're my family. Okay, you just keep a book full of your family? Well, okay, sure, why not? Well, she's got nothing on her. I mean, she's got plenty to go for, though. All right, let's go ahead and uh, deal with her real quick. I'll charge her in a minute, but I want to check her. I want to check her record, see if she's got anything. She is, uh, I'm assuming she's Kate Beth. I forgot to look, actually. Yeah, that's Kate. Um, Improper overtaking, that's it. She's got nothing. Okay. I'm assuming this guy is Carlos Peach. We'll find out. Whenever you're ready. You watch her while I deal with this guy. Dude, what the hell is your problem? Why'd you do that, man? Why did you do that? I felt like it. So you felt like just running up and punching me while I was dealing with somebody? Okay, I guess you felt like going to jail then. You got anything on you want to tell me about, man? Maybe. Huh. What am I going to find when I pat you down, buddy? I'm strapped, dude. I got a permit, though. You got a gun? Dude. Turn around, stupid. I hope you do have a gun, and I hope you don't have a permit. More charges for you, my man. Okay. Pistol magazine containing eight 7.62 by 25 millimeter rounds, a bit of burnt tin foil with a white, with white, white residue, uh, birth control pill packet, and a veteran's ID card. Yeah, bro, birth control. You should, you should look into it. Make sure you keep that. He does have a... He does have a concealed handgun permit, though. I know it says long guns, but I, if you've never seen one of my videos before, I don't... That concealed long gun permit is fucking stupid, so everything is a concealed handgun permit. Since you don't really need a, a license to have a weapon, like, like a rifle, in, in your car, as long as it's not loaded, anyway. Um, so, yeah, he's got he's got a gun permit. He doesn't have a gun, though. So, where's your gun, dude? Maybe he lost it while he was running from me. Where's your gun? I'll have one. You just told me you did. Why are you lying to me, dude? I didn't lie. Look me on and tell me I'm lying. Okay, hang on, I will. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're lying. Alright. Alright, I'm done being petty now. Um. Okay. Well, that's basically it for him, dude. I'm gonna pop him in the back of my car. We'll probably send him with medics, though, since he... He caught a few rounds because apparently in Vinewood, man punches officer deadly force is, force is authorized. There we go. Hey, it's so nice of me to push the doors close again. Let's check his record, too. He's got a warrant for uh, violating a uh, domestic violence protection order. So, yeah. He does have, a, does have a handgun permit like we discovered. He shouldn't. Technically, if he's got a DVP, he shouldn't actually... His, val his permit should not be valid, but he doesn't have a weapon on him either way, so it's fine. All right, let me get these two idiots taken care of, and then we'll get back on the road and see what else is going on up here today. Citizens reporting. Target is carrying a weapon in right. Vinewood Hills. We'll definitely take that. Respond code 3. our priority for a little bit here until we get out of the city. Alright, up in the hills here. Subject is uh, suffering from a, someone seen someone with a weapon. We've had calls like this before. This one seems to come up a lot, actually. But uh, it usually ends up with some action, so I'm good with it. Cut our lights, we're almost there. 10 Lincoln 21, show me on scene. There's our complaint right there, actually. I'm going to turn my lights down, only because you know it's going to go crazy here. Alright. Hey, man, what's going on? A little closer. Hey, are you the caller? Yes, sir, I saw a guy with a gun wandering nearby. Do you have any more information about him? I guess he has a mental disorder, that's all I know. I'm getting a real hinky feeling. 
Okay, we'll try to find him. Stay inside the house. Okay, be careful, officer. Okay, that could have been an ambush. That happened sometimes. On Wispy Mound Drive. Wispy Mound Drive. All right, that's one road up from us here. So we'll head down that way. So we're looking for a male with a firearm. I think he said gun. Yeah, he said gun. Wispy Mounds, this one here. I don't know what we're looking for. Whoops. In terms of, uh... Let's see if we can spot him with the dash cam. He might be up in the grass there, though. Probably isn't going to work very well. I wanted to... I like doing these ones in first person whenever possible. We're on Wispy Mound, but I'm not seeing our guy anywhere, and it does cover another road up there, too. He may be... I didn't see him... I didn't see him walking around up there in the grass or anything. You know what? We can take this little trail right here. It's not going to be too good for our car, but... Oh, it's a lady and her dog, okay. But, it'll be easier than trying to go all the way around here. So this is Lake Vinewood Drive. Dispatch said Wispy Mound, but maybe he walked up the hill. Whoa, dude, calm down. Alright. He could be down there in the grass, too, but... I didn't see him. That doesn't mean he wasn't there. I'd say he is. Though... So, all right, let's get turned around and head back. I must have been wrong. He must be up in the grass somewhere. So we'll go right back down the way we came. Which was not here, it's over here. Looks like it's right here. Come on. Our ram bar took that damage, it's okay. I don't want to go too fast down this trail. That woman might be out here with her dog still. I'd hate to hit him. Alright. Okay. Where's this guy at? I have... If he's on... Like, if he's in one of these backyards or something, we ain't gonna find him. I'm tempted to call this one, uh, unfounded. Can't find the guy, but... We'll do one more search of the street, and then I'm gonna... I know he's there, but he may have wandered into an area we really can't, you know, get to him. So I have no right to go back through people's yards and whatnot. I can't just be searching private property. And I think he is back here somewhere. Here, he, here comes someone. Just park right here for a second. He does have a weapon. 10th and 21. I need immediate backup. Yeah, I saw that coming. All units, officer needs immediate assistance on Wispy Mound Drive. Give it up, dude! Oh, whoa, whoa! Shots fired. Assistance is required on Wispy Mound Drive. Put it down! Come on. Put it down! You need to give it up, man. He's down. Reloading. 10 Lincoln 21. Show me 10 15. 10 4. 10 Lincoln 21. Need medical assistance. 10 Lincoln 21. Start medical assistance. 10 Lincoln 21. Requesting medical assistance. It is so picky about that medical one, man. Okay, I got the weapon recovered. Alright, we're gonna try CPR here. I didn't know they were gonna get here that fast. I'll keep him busy. He's dead. You ain't gotta keep him busy now. Here comes a uh, paramedic. He's gonna push me out of the way. 
Yeah, no kidding. Thank you, appreciate that. Thanks. GPR has failed. Right. I should move to Vice City. Alright. Uh, okay, so he's not gonna try now, I guess. Alright. Well, that's fine then. Let's search his body. See who we had here. Appreciate all you guys coming out, man. Ooh. Bikini Universe received a pistol magazine containing 12 45 ACP rounds, a pair of gloves, picture of the subject with known Italian gangsters, a postcard from Los Venturas, a baggie containing a few 10 milligram methadone pills. Matt, Matt Richards. Methadone ain't gonna make you violent, but. Alright. Anyway, Matt Richards is unfortunately dead, and that is gonna pretty much do it for our episode today, I think. Um, so we're gonna head in and. Uh, Take care of the rest. We'll get the coroner out here to scrape him off the ground, and then we'll uh, we'll do the court thing. Be right back. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the court thing. Unfortunately, our third guy there didn't make it. Um, he did a. Uh, he would have been, and if he had, he would have been in for a world of hurt in regard to charges. Let's check his record just to see. Now he had no record or anything, so oh well. All right, so let's see here. Um, we have three that we want to do, though. David uh, Bordiga was our first guy. That was the gang member. We did determine he was probably affiliated with the Ballers based on some uh, articles of clothing we found in the car um, or on him. I forget which. We ended up only charging him with uh, felony three, failure to comply with single law officer since he, we turned around to initiate a stop on him once he gave us probable cause, and he gave us probable cause by fleeing. So there you go. Uh, and he was reckless in doing so since he... I'm, I don't think he struck any vehicles or anything, but he, he traveled in an unsafe manner. Uh, also, possession of criminal tools, he had some nail bomb parts and some fertilizer in his car, so he could be involved in bomb making for the Ballas, which would be a new thing for them so far as I know, but, you know, criminals bombing other criminals or politicians or the police is not new. But he will be spending two years and seven months in prison, so that's two years and seven months he won't be making bombs for the Ballas, I guess. So there's that, at least. Uh, Kate Beth was the girl who took off from a, a, a Los Santos deputy, or a, well, it would be a Los Santos County deputy, up in the hills. Um, and then uh, we managed to catch back up with her after some terrible driving from everyone involved. Um, we ended up charging her with a vehicular assault. She did ram at least once. I didn't watch the whole chase, but I rewatched the chase after I, I finished the clip. And I do know she rammed at least one, um, at least one, uh, civilian vehicle and then she all she did also ram a police vehicle and i really probably should have charged her with um felonious assault as well um but oh well uh, also m1 authorized use of a vehicle since it wasn't she said that her dad didn't know that he had you know, she had the car which is kind of piddly and then also the normal felony three failure to comply and she's gonna do four years and 13 months so five years and one month so three four five yeah five years and one month for her uh for her, I, I think it's kind of funny she ended up with so much more time, but uh, oh well. Uh, and then lastly, we had Carlos Peach, who was the dude who ran up and attacked us, and he probably got the most charge. He got the most charge of anyone today. Uh, it's F. It, it is a felony for to assault a peace officer. There are a bunch of situations under which assault can be a felony five, though none of them will probably ever apply, um, unless someone has a prior homicide or assault charge. Um, Fel uh, felony five would be if you assault a teacher or a uh, like a uh, child service worker or something like that. That would all end up being felony five. But assaulting a firefighter, peace officer, or EMT in Ohio is a felony four. Anyway, uh, obstruction of official business is an M2. Um, there is a felony charge for that as well, but it requires that obstruction to place someone in serious harm, which did not happen in this case. Or the to either result in or place him in the potential of serious harm, and that didn't happen in this case. Um, I used the violating a protection order for his uh, for his warrant for DVP. Um, that uh, white residue he ended up having on his uh, tin foil ended up being crack cocaine, so we charged him for that. And then also possession of drug abuse instruments. He's going to do seven, so that's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 months, so just shy of two years for randomly running up and punching a police officer in the back of the head, quote, because he felt like it. So anyway, Pulling hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Devin Plays LSPDFR. I know I did. Um, I'm turning these lights on because I, I just love these lights. I am obsessed with these light bars. Anyway, um, past the 100 episode mark now, guys. I uh, 
Hope you guys, like I said earlier, I hope you guys really enjoyed that 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 longer episode. I'll do it again if there's a demand for it. Um, I feel like people don't want to sit through hour long videos, but I could be wrong. Um, anyway, so really like this new pack for Vinewood. We'll be keeping it around for a while. I believe it also comes with a uh, explorer, so we'll use that at some point as well. Um, thinking we'll probably do Los Santos again uh, for the next episode, so we can get out in another uh, Louisville based vehicle. Uh, real quick, want to throw out there uh, I had a request to do Kentucky State Police for Highway Patrol, and I am going to do that, but I'm going to combine that with the suggestion from another user um, that we do a new series of Highway Patrol videos. So what I'm going to try to do is once a week, probably on Saturdays, we'll do a Highway Patrol video, and that'll be actually part of a new series that each episode I'll change out the Highway Patrol vehicles, I'll keep them for the week, and we're going to try to cover all 50 states, which means um, I'm going to have to contract some people to make a couple of the states that I know don't exist. So, But all right, we'll figure that out. I uh, want to say thanks to everybody who's been joining the channel and everybody who's been watching the channel. You, your guys' support means a lot to me, and I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, and as always, stay safe out there, okay?